Buying a house is one of the most significant financial decisions you will make in your lifetime. With several payment options available, it can be difficult to decide whether to purchase with cash, take on a 15-year mortgage, or choose a 30-year mortgage. Each choice comes with its own set of financial implications, advantages, and disadvantages. Understanding this can help you make a decision that aligns with your financial goals and lifestyle needs. Hi there, this is Harry Nima Segarra, founder of Nima Equity, and today, will help you understand the benefits and drawbacks of purchasing a home with cash, a 15-year mortgage, or a 30-year mortgage. Cash purchase. A cash purchase involves paying the full price of the home upfront without financing. This option avoids the delay and complexities that come with mortgages, interest, various fees, and the qualification process. Benefits. The biggest advantage of buying a house with cash is the immediate ownership you get. You avoid interest payments, which can save a substantial amount over the years. Cash buyers also often enjoy additional negotiating power, potentially reducing the purchase price. Moreover, the peace of mind of owning your home and being free from the burden of monthly mortgage payments is, for some people, invaluable. Drawbacks The main drawback of a cash purchase is the large amount of capital or money you will need to allocate in buying the house. This can limit your immediate liquidity and reduce your ability to invest in other opportunities. Should your financial situation change unexpectedly, this lack of liquidity could pose a significant problem for you. Additionally, by not leveraging low interest mortgage rates, you might miss out on potential investment returns that outweigh the cost of borrowing. 15-year mortgage A 15-year mortgage allows homeowners to pay off their home in 15 years with fixed monthly payments. These mortgages typically come with lower interest rates compared to 30-year loans, appealing to those looking to save on interest and build equity quickly. Benefits A 15-year mortgage accelerates the build-up of equity and decreases the overall interest paid throughout the loan. This can be a cost-effective option for those who can afford higher monthly payments. Completing mortgage payments in 15 years also offers a faster route to financial freedom, an appealing aspect for those approaching retirement. Drawbacks. The higher monthly payments of a 15-year mortgage can strain your budget, leaving less room for other investments or unexpected expenses. This can lead to financial stress if not properly planned. Additionally, the obligation to make larger payments may discourage certain buyers, particularly if you have unstable incomes or if you prioritize more flexible investment strategies. 30-year mortgage. The 30-year mortgage is widely favored due to its more manageable monthly payments. This type of mortgage spreads the loan's balance over 30 years, significantly reducing the amount paid each month, but at a higher total interest over the course of the loan. Benefits The lower monthly payments associated with 30-year mortgages make home ownership more accessible for many people. This option frees up money for individuals, allowing them to invest their surplus income elsewhere. If those investments perform well, you can potentially earn more than the cost of the mortgage interest. Furthermore, potential tax deductions for mortgage interest can provide additional financial relief. Drawbacks While the monthly payments are lower, the total interest paid over the life of a 30-year mortgage is higher than that of shorter-term loans. This means you will end up paying more on your house in the long run. Additionally, the slower rate of equity buildup can be a disadvantage if you plan to sell the house soon, as you may not have accumulated significant equity. How can I decide which option to choose? Consider your financial stability and future plans. A cash purchase might be feasible if you have significant savings and a stable financial outlook. However, if you think you might need cash for other investments or expenses, a mortgage might be more appropriate. Your future plans, including retirement, career changes, or potential relocations, should also be considered. Study the interest rates and market conditions. The appeal of mortgages is heavily influenced by prevailing interest rates. When interest rates are low, borrowing makes more sense, and securing a low rate can lead to long-term savings. Additionally, housing market trends can influence whether you might want to sell the house early or hold on to it as a long-term investment. Assess your personal preferences and risk tolerance. Your comfort level with risk and lifestyle preferences are key factors in making this decision. If you prefer not to carry debt, a cash purchase or a shorter mortgage term might suit you better. On the other hand, if you like having flexibility with your investments and want to maximize potential returns, you might find a 30-year mortgage more fitting. 
Choosing how to finance your home purchase is a complex decision that should be made after careful consideration of your financial situation and long-term goals. Each option comes with potential benefits and drawbacks for your long-term and short-term finances. If you're interested in learning more about mindset, financial education, and real estate, join the NIMA Equity Doctors Investing Club today. And finally, if you like this video, hit that like button, share with a friend, and be sure to subscribe. I'm Harry Nima Segarra with NIMA Equity. Thank you so much for watching.